golden retrievers do some embarrassing things, but there's usually a good reason for why they do them, like sniffing your crotch. It's kind of like how dogs greet another dog by sniffing their butt. They do that because they're getting information about the other dog, and that's the same reason they sniff your crotch. There's a sweat gland down there that releases lots of pheromones, which contains extra information about you and how you're doing. And besides just sniffing sweat, your golden may be more interested in sniffing your crotch if it's that time of the month, or if you just had some romantic time. And speaking of romantic time, let's go to this next embarrassing golden retriever behavior. Your golden may interrupt romantic time with you and your partner. Golden retrievers are social animals that love to be around their humans. They like to cuddle and they like to wrestle, so if they see you doing that, then they may try to join in. They obviously don't follow the same social and personal space standards that we humans do, but you should be honored that your golden loves you so much and always wants to be near you. If it becomes a problem, consider shutting the door or giving them a fun toy, like a frozen Kong, to keep them busy. Another human standard they don't really follow is where to use the restroom. Golden retrievers sometimes potty in the most embarrassing places. But here's the weird thing. They usually don't potty in random places. They go where they go for a reason. In public, they often go where they smell pee from other dogs. They're sending a message to let them know that they were there. They might also pee on things to mark their territory. For instance, if you have a friend over and your pup pees on their shoes or their bags, they're trying to say, hey, this is my house. But that's just peeing. We haven't even talked about pooping in weird places. Goldens don't have the same feelings of embarrassment or privacy as us. So they go when and where they want to go, no matter who's around. And to make matters worse, they sometimes circle or pace to find just the right spot, which gets everyone's attention to let them know what's about to go down. Keeping with the romantic thing, here's one of the most embarrassing things golden sometimes do. They hump. To protect your innocent eyes, we're not going to show a clip of a golden retriever humping. They can start humping surprisingly early. When they're a few months old, it's usually just part of how they play. Then, as they start to mature and hormones are raging through their veins, it becomes more sexually driven. But it's not always a sexual thing. Even after they get spayed or neutered, they may still hump. It can be part of their play style, it can help them assert dominance, or they just do it when they get overexcited. It can become kind of like a bad habit, like excessive barking. And another thing people get wrong about humping is that it's not only males that do it. Females may be frequent humpers as well. It's weird and embarrassing when they do this, and so is this next behavior. Licking other dogs' private parts. Dogs smell each other's butts and crotches when they meet, which is totally normal. It helps them get information about the other dog and see how they're doing. But some take it to another level and start licking down there. It's definitely weird, but it can help them experience those smells even more. Before we move on to the next embarrassing behavior, I'd love to know the most embarrassing thing your golden retriever has ever done. Share your story down in the comments. This next one is another normal dog behavior, but if you have neighbors, it can be pretty awkward. Golden retrievers sometimes kick up the dirt after they go potty. Now, in case it's not bad enough that your dog is using the restroom on somebody else's yard, they just have to make a big scene out of it. And unfortunately for your neighbors, they may also tear up some grass in the process. But there is an important social reason for why they do this. The bottom of their paws have glands that release pheromones that help them communicate with other dogs. It's kind of like them leaving a little note to let other dogs in the neighborhood know what's going on. Now here's something that humans and dogs have disagreed on since the days of Adam and Eve. We humans cover ourselves up, but that's definitely not the case with goldens. Sometimes your golden retriever may lay on their back and air out their personal parts for the whole world to see. We talked about this in our video about golden retriever sleeping positions, but they usually lay like this when they're feeling relaxed and carefree. They may also be hot and just trying to get a cool breeze down there. If they're playing with other dogs, it can be a sign of submission. Or if they're playing with you, it might be an invitation to rub their fluffy belly. This next embarrassing behavior is one that is kind of sweet, but pretty messy. Golden retrievers sometimes pee when they get too excited. It's cute that they love you so much, and they're happy to see you. But it's definitely frustrating having to clean up pee so often. And it can be really embarrassing if your golden decides they want to pee on your friends or your family when they come over. Not to mention, there's a lot of fluff down there that can get soaked in pee and make your house pretty messy. 
If you have an excited peer, they'll probably grow out of it eventually. But you can help speed up the process by taking them for lots of potty breaks, helping them learn to relax, and not getting them overexcited. Here's another embarrassing thing your Golden may do when you have company over. Lick them. Goldens love people, and sometimes they just can't hold their liquor. Many of us call it kisses when our Golden licks us, and they do sometimes lick to show affection. But there are a few other reasons why they do it, including one really odd and kind of gross reason. Your Golden may lick you or your company because you're sweaty, so your skin is salty and it tastes good. Or you may have lotion on, which probably tastes or smells good to your pup. The second reason is that your Golden may be bored or anxious and licking is soothing to them. Or the weirdest reason is that they may be trying to get you to throw up your meal for them. Researchers have found that puppies of wolves, coyotes, and foxes lick their mother's face when she returns from a hunt. They do this to get her to regurgitate her food for them. So maybe your puppy just wants you to share that sandwich with them. Okay, enough of the grossness. Let's go back to a behavior that can be really cute. Goldens sometimes chase their tails. They look silly but adorable when they do this, and they usually do it because they're playing. If you laugh and call their name, they may love the attention and do it more. And since they have long, fluffy tails, many Goldens are actually successful at catching their tails. This next one is a normal behavior for humans and dogs, but that doesn't mean we don't laugh like children every time it happens. Golden Retrievers sometimes fart. Now there's nothing wrong with farting. Everybody does it. But if you have a date over, and all of a sudden the room starts to smell, it may be tough to blame it on your cute, innocent-looking Golden Retriever. And it certainly doesn't help that many of their farts are of the silent but deadly type. A little bit of farting is normal. But if your Golden has excessive farts, talk to your vet and see if everything is okay with their stomach and the food they're eating. There are some things in life we like to keep private, but occasionally your Golden Retriever has other plans. Golden Retrievers sometimes steal your underwear. Have you ever had this happen? You're hanging out at your house with friends or family, and then all of a sudden your Golden comes out with your underwear in their mouth. They could have at least picked your partner's underwear, right? They may do this because your underwear smells like their favorite smell you. Plus, if you chase them and give them lots of attention when they do this, you might accidentally be encouraging them to keep doing it because it's so fun for them. Next up is something owners of young golden retrievers will be all too familiar with, and then after that is probably the grossest and weirdest thing on this list. First, golden retrievers love to jump on people. The good thing is that it's usually not out of aggression. They do it out of love and excitement. But since Goldens aren't exactly small dogs, it can be a problem. Also, many Goldens don't seem to care if they're on a leash or not when they jump. This usually isn't one of the things that they'll grow out of when they get older. It can actually get worse, so definitely talk to a professional dog trainer if you've got a dog who loves to jump and pull on the leash. Now onto another gross, embarrassing, but apparently normal behavior for dogs. Golden Retrievers like to roll in dead animals. It's disgusting to us, but when they do it, they're so proud and happy. Scientists have a few theories for why they do this. For one, wolves sometimes do this to camouflage their scent so they can better sneak up on their prey. Your Golden may be doing this behavior even though she doesn't need to hunt because she's pampered and gets all of her meals served to her in her fancy bowl at the same time every day. Your Golden also may be getting the scent like you might get a postcard on vacation. Postcards remind us of a fun memory and you can show off where you've been to your friends. If your Golden sees other dogs, they're going to know that your pup just had a blast rolling around in a stinky dead animal. And then they just might love the smell. I think it's clear by now that they don't exactly have the same standards as us for what smells good. So your Golden may be choosing their preferred brand of all natural perfume. For more strange things Golden Retrievers do, watch Weird Golden Retriever Behaviors Explained next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.